Greetings food surfers, welcome to Eric Mealtime and in today's episode we are having Tibet cuisine. Where's Tibet you ask? In the northern Himalayas, they've got half of Mount Everest and Tibet is known as the rooftop of the world. So let's go get some food up on the roof. Looks like we're starting with cocktail hour here. This is a butter tea. Oh yeah. Hmm. Tastes like English tea like my grandmother used to make. Very nice. Mm -hmm comes with this little snack dish here. Chips of some sort. Like a biscuit. Be kind of corn flavored. Not much crunch to it. It's a bit on the stale side. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. And there's a nice spice to it as well. And this drink here is a milk sake. So let's test it out. It looks more like a lemonade color, but it's alcohol from milk. Oh, wow. It's very tart. I'm not tasting the milk. It's, I guess it's kind of a milky lemonade sort of taste. He says it's about 5% alcohol. So on par with the beer. It's nice though, definitely thirst quenching. And the best part of this drink is the name. It's called Chukachang. I like that, huh? Chukachang. Mmm. Let's try dipping one of these instead. Soften it up a little bit. I've decided that these should not be drank together. Definitely separate. I don't know whose idea that was. You don't drink tea with alcohol together. So this is the salad that comes with the lunch set. And I've ordered these two sets here, the two on top. So one's with dumplings, one's with a soup or a stew. Looks like we've got a choice between chopsticks or a fork. Definitely chopsticks. I'm not very good at using a fork. It's pretty wet, meaning there's probably a lot of dressing. Is that cottage cheese on there? What is that cheese? Looks like cheese. Tasty. It's a lemon dressing. Mmm. I believe that is cottage cheese, grated cottage cheese. Mm. It's a tasty salad. Oh, what do we have here? This is a Tibet phrase book. And this says, let's see if I can translate this for you guys. This says, always keep studying in your life, regardless of your age. This dish is called lamb guma, which is lamb and rice sausage. 
with cucumber around the outside. And it comes with a sauce. All right. Definitely give that a try. That looks like it could be very spicy. You never know. If it's really spicy, then I'm gonna be in trouble. Alrighty, looks good. Hmm, it's very pleasant. Mm hmm, it's kind of like. It's really minced up together with the rice, and uh, it's very meaty. It's good. There is some spice to it. And then there's a harder texture kind of around the outside, the skin. Mm -hmm. Got a very nice texture. This is really good. Let's try the sauce on it cucumber here. It's kind of like a spicy salsa. That's what I would say for the cucumber. Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's pretty spicy. It goes better with that meat. Yeah. It's good though. Good dish. Let's try them together. Maybe this is the way they're meant to be eaten. And it's really tasty. Yeah, I like the rice inside. It's, it's more like a soup rice, how it's mixed together. Very moist sausage. These are called chapelet or beef meat pies. Mm hmm The dish is very hot to the touch. Let's do this with a fork, shall we? Oh. It's pretty tough. Let's see if we can have a look inside. There's the beef. Definitely sizzling. We gonna go sauce? Yeah, sauce is boss. I like this sauce a lot. Let's pick it up for convenience. meat in there. Mm hmm It's a very moist pie. This is good. Well, pretty much just straight up ground beef and nice flavor. Mm hmm The pastry is, is is very moist. This here is called Tik Tok or wait a minute Them Tuck. Femtuck, not TikTok, and it's a flour dumpling soup. It's part of the first set. There's the dumpling. But there's dumplings inside here, too. Looks like a really rich soup. So there's the other type of dumpling or pasta. Yeah. Lots of goodies in here. Looks delish.
What is that? Potato, a water chestnut? This is interesting. What is that? Potato, I think. No. But it's a crunchy potato. Yeah, it's very hot. It's way too hot. Let's try the dumpling, shall we? Is he gonna squirt? <laughs> Sometimes they do. There it is, there's a squirt. Ooh, it smells really good. It's got chives or onions. Just tore it apart. Tasty. I wonder if this is lamb as well too. It's hard to tell. Perhaps beef. It's really nice though. Nice flavor. You can taste the chives. It's a really good dumpling. Different than anything else I've ever had before. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's dish some of this up into a smaller serving bowl. That should cool it down a little bit. And maybe we can see all of the ingredients. Like there's a bit of meat in here as well, too. Okay, so I've just been informed from the chef that this is daikon radish, the standard in Japan, the big radish, but... It's got a crunchiness to it in this. Soup makes it taste different than typical daikon radish. And the soup is kind of a typical vegetable soup. It's good, pretty basic. It's what's in the soup that's really amazing. I like these pasta dumplings. And add some calories, carbs. It's a good hearty soup. Mm. And this is set number two here. This is the Momo set or dumpling set. It comes with rice and a different type of soup. So I wonder if these dumplings are gonna be the same. Oh, squirt. Oh boy, major squirt. Looks like the same as the one that came with the other set, which is fine. We're gonna add some of this zesty sauce, very similar to a salsa. Mm. Let's go heavier on the sauce. I'm getting used to it. Uh oh, I hope that's not too much. Oh, that's going to be a bite. Something about dumplings. They're just fun to eat. Yeah. A bit of rice. Mm hmm. And the soup. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh. It's a bit milky in color. Tastes like uh, mm, dirty bath water. I'm not sure. It's got a bit of a foulness to it. It's very light. 
Yeah. It's actually pretty good. This here is called Tingmo or steamed bread. I wonder if anything's inside it. Can we just tear it apart? Yeah, I think this is finger food. Oh, smells like a sweet bun. It's not sweet. Nice texture though. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's very similar to just another dumpling, but yeah, it's a, it's a bread flavor rather than a dumpling, if that makes sense. It'd be nice if they put something inside it though. Mm. But, hmm. I guess it could be meant to be eaten with this dish, which is a meat and potatoes. And it's also got the daikon radish in it. Served with some scallions on top. Just eat it with the spoon. Oh, this has got some flavor. Nice. This is the best meat of the meal so far. Oh, this is pork. That's why it's so delicious. Nicely seasoned pork, sliced pork. Oh yeah. A lot of flavor going on here. It's got the carrots and the daikon radish mixed in, but it's nicely seasoned. This is the daikon radish. The next dish is called gakok. It's right here. I want to take a look inside, but it's way, way too hot right now. But I can show you on the menu what it looks like. That's what's inside right there. Okay, so we've got three different types of meat in here. There's some lamb meat, there is some pork, and also chicken as well too. These are minced chicken balls, I guess. Or... Let's do the meat first, shall we? Dress it with some chives. All right, I'm gonna start with the meat first. This looks the most appealing to me. I believe this is the pork. Salty pork. I thought it was gonna be sweet. <coughs> A little bit of cabbage here. And this is the minced chicken. It's also very salty. Let's try the soup. Yeah, that's why, because the soup is salty. Okay. Nice flavor, though. Very rich. Oh. The lamb is impressive. Yep. This lamb meat, thinly sliced. Oh, this is good. Mmm. Oh, that's beautiful. It's got a slight gamey taste to it, but it is delicious. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And just number two here is the vegetable dish. Look at all the different types of vegetables you get. There's mushrooms in here, there's broccoli, carrots, there's tofu, lots of goodies. What was that? Potato. Thinly sliced carrots. 
tofu. It's a tree. AKA the broccoli. Well, it's too hot. You can't force it when you eat Nabe hot pot. You just can't. It's just an explosion of magma in your mouth if you eat it so quickly. It's too hot. Way, way, way too hot. Take two. The tofu is um, a bit different than typical Asian style. It's got more of a gumminess to it. It's good. Nice skin on it too. Yeah, different texture. It's good, there's some potato on here. A couple different kinds of mushrooms. Are we all full yet? No? Dessert? Should we get dessert? No. Yeah? The dessert has arrived. This is called Sampa Cake. Let's get into it. Oh, it's like a pound cake, isn't it? It's got raisins and some nuts, I believe. homemade fruit cake. Nice. Tastes a little cinnamon, I think, too. Mm. It's good. Mm. So there it was, the cuisine from Tibet. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I certainly did. I feel like if I was to ever climb Mount Everest, I would want to eat this kind of food. So on my ranking scale between one and six of the air cans, I'm gonna go five today. It was an all around delicious meal. Yes, a lot of meat, definitely meat heavy. A lot of calories, good earthy food. And yeah, I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.